What's up guys, this is Jonathan with One Big Impact. Today we are going to show you how to convert a PDF image to be able to take it over to SignMaster. A recent subscriber asked a question if I could show how to view that in wireframe and I assume that that is because you want to be able to see what the cuttable image of that is now. This is going to work directly and indirectly with pretty much any image. Doesn't matter if it's PDF or FMG or whatever. Um, so thank you for taking a moment to please like and share and comment on this video. It helps the algorithm, but more importantly, it helps us to be able to get more people out there like us that help with this issue or learning different things. So thank you. Now I typed in PDF image of a barbell and it came up with this so I came directly to here now I'm going to right click this image and I'm gonna save it and then it's gonna drop it down here in the bottom Kona so we're gonna save okay now we have that saved down here in the bottom left hand corner now we're going to go to an online vectorizer online image vectorizer and you can stop and it is vectorization.org I'm gonna grab this picture down here and left click it hold it and bring it up here and let it go right there okay now I'm gonna push start now it's processing right I don't know what the hell I assume this is some kind of little pop-up now if you can look at this image versus this image do you see a difference? It's a hell of a lot more clear, okay? If you just take this Pinterest image and you go to cut it or wireframe it, it's not going to be a vectorized image, meaning it's not going to show up as a wireframe because it's just a blank sheet of paper, essentially. Now, I'm going to click this and make sure it's going to be the top one I don't know if the bottom one does I think sometimes it just doesn't work now in the bottom left hand corner we've got that saved to our computer okay now we are gonna come to sign master I have no clue what the hell I got in here right now and we're gonna left click right click oh we gotta put the little pointer left click right click and then we go to import and it's gonna come up where is it it's not there it's in downloads this one here okay not this one this is the Pinterest okay it's gonna be this weird logo here and then it's floating and then you're gonna uh, left click it to drop it now that might be being viewed in wireframe already. Yeah, it is. Okay, so accidentally. Um, and we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Drop it down. I know it's a pain in the butt to do that. But now your image is here. And if you ever want to center it, click the image. Click the image. Where is it? Click the image. C E puts it right in the center of your project, if that makes sense. Now click the item and push view wireframe. That's your cuttable image. If you're putting it on a t-shirt, I recommend that before you do anything, that's actually a really cool logo. I, that would be a cool logo right there. Um, you're going to go to this, uh, no, go back to view, unclick wireframe, right click it, and then display options, where are we at? I'm a little confused right here. Alignment, um, shit, it doesn't matter, it completely has no, oh, <laughs> I, I'm having a hard time figuring it out right now. I was just going to show you that you need to uh, mirror the image, like flip it. There we go, transformation. Sorry. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't actually change much, does it? That's cool. See that? So that's the normal, I think. Maybe. No, I don't think that is the normal. Uh, 
transformation mirror that's the normal and then to print it you do it backwards so that when you put it on a t-shirt it's forwards if that makes sense I hope that information helped you if that added any clarity to you um, please like share comment and subscribe have an awesome day I am gonna do another video in just a minute um, thank you I would appreciate um, anything that you post to help others as well have a good day guys